So here we are at the Northeast River. The weigh-in kind of was early. They had to check in a little bit early. Here's Mike Ward, baseman pro. What happened in the tournament? Who was this with now? Uh, Angler's this Choice. This was the Angler's yep. Choice. Angler's okay, Choice. and you had your partner with you? Yeah, I had my partner, Mark Hardy, with me. Yeah. And uh, we ended up uh, running to the Sassafras this morning. And I'd caught some fish in uh, practice yesterday yeah. in one of the creeks back there, uh, real, real tight to, to hard wood. And uh, we just went in there trying to, you know, duplicate that, and, and they were biting. Did you flip and pitch in there, or yep, what? just it? flipping and pitching soft plastics. Yeah. Um, real, real tight to wood. If you weren't right next to wood, you weren't getting bit. Yeah. Uh, and then as the tide started going out, we were catching them in 10, 12 inches of water. Yeah. And, uh, well, so, that's what we always say. If you're not digging mud, you're not fishing shallow enough. Yeah. Well, that, that, that was definitely the case today yeah um, and when the bite shut down there you know we made our way back across which was kind of tough with all the pleasure boats out there yeah. today and all the so because you had some wind too and then you know with yeah, that and it was the, most, you know just the big boats with three four foot weights are putting yeah. off so it, it, it took us a little while to get back across yeah um, and then our plan was to go into the creek because Mike could give me some information that right you know he was working some Senkos in there pretty well right and uh, basically ran out of time. We didn't, yeah. we, we didn't have time. Did to you go, catch go more than a limit, though? Back in there. Um, yeah, we did catch more more than a limit. A couple, you know, just they didn't measure. Yeah. But uh, we had. Well, it's still 15 inches, isn't it? Till yeah. June 15th. Yep, or, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and we, we had one small fish that just measured that we couldn't call out, and we had two nice fish on, but. Uh, they came unbuttoned at the boat, and that, that probably right. would have. That cost over. you. I told. I, I say that all the time. Yeah. So if you don't lose the fish, 90% of the time you can beat a lot of the guys just by not losing. Yeah, and and, and, and that was it. They they were two nice fish, and they just came unbuttoned right before we could, you know, net them. Um, but so well, you ended up happens. with like almost 15 pounds though, anyway, right? Uh, yeah, I think we had about 14 to 17 uh, wanted. So where did that 14-2 put you? Like fifth or sixth? Uh, or? We were third. Third? Yeah. Well, still, see, that's not third, that bad. Usually place. somewhere between 14 and 15 gets you third or fourth a lot of times. And but I, not in a paycheck series. It, right, yeah, not, not in a paycheck. You'd have to right. be pushing 20. Um, yeah. But ironically enough, I the guy who won, I uh, asked them, they, they started on the flats, picked right. up a couple of fish there. Right. Um, and I asked them that if they uh, did stay there all day. Yeah. You know, um, and went back to the creek. Yeah. And he said they were plucking them up. They yeah. called three or four. See, that's what we did in the FLW, creek. and it was just a few weeks after this last year. And yeah. the first two days, you could get 15 to 20 pounds out of the creek, and then the third day, it, it was beat up. Needless to say, we're kicking ourselves in the tail. We're not making time to go into the creek. Yeah. Uh, that probably. That, that That's what we say a lot of times, that, isn't it? That Just that the the decision, you know, should I stay? Should yeah. I try and stay with these fish because I'm on them? We got 14 where we were. We could have called out the fish or two in there. We had you could have called out maybe with a three or three and a half on the two small ones. But, yeah. But you don't know, and that's what I'm saying. You, that's that sometimes those decisions make win it or lose it. Yeah, they do. But. Uh, all in all, you know. Yeah, it still turned out okay. Can't complain. No, third, yeah. and you had you had a first place, and then what? Second. A second, a, a and, second and then one now, one was one we had boat trouble, and then you got a third now again. Yeah. So that's still it's pretty yeah. good average. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not complaining. You know? Yeah. But it was all soft plastics. They weren't. You didn't catch any on crankbaits in there, no. did you? See, that's because you were on different kind of fish. You were on those wood fish that are a lot of times up in the sassafras or bohemian stuff. You know, and then these fish here, they're different. You can still catch some crankbait fish here. Probably should. We, we, we did try the pilings. Yeah. We went there for about 10, 15 minutes on our way in. But it's so tide specific. Uh, yeah, the tide was way too far out. Yeah. And then you had two foot waves crashing yeah. in from all the places. Yeah, it's, boats, real, so. it's real specific. Yeah, it uh, wasn't happening there. I said by then it was just too late. Yeah. It was hot out there today too, wasn't it? Yeah, it did get hot. Yeah, and that humidity really built. That really mattered. Man, it was tough. And, uh, all in all, good day. Uh, good day for the Bass College. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get them. Uh, got two weeks. Next, two weeks. Uh, and then is Mike's Angler's going with choice. you, what, in the next one? Or? I believe so. Yep. Yeah. Believe okay, so. so we'll see you guys then. All right, sounds